All right, guys, we got a 2006 Ford F-150 4.6 motor. And as you can see, we got the ABS and brake light on. Customer says they replaced the ABS module with a used one. And now the brake light is always on. They replaced it because the brake light came off and on. So um, I went ahead and pulled the codes. Now, as you saw those codes there, uh, 1342, that says internal error. Now that can happen because the ABS module they put on is also defective, or it could be a problem with the wiring or something like that to the ABS module. So we're gonna have to do some testing on that and see what's going on. The second code is the VIN mismatch because the, of course the VIN number is not, uh, it's from a different vehicle that's programmed into the ABS module. So we're gonna have to reprogram that module as well, right? So um, first steps first, uh, we're gonna go ahead and test the piles and grounds to that unit and uh, and verify that with test light, with a load. And then we're going to uh, continue from there. Okay, ABS module is located right here. I went ahead and pulled off the connector. You just pull this back and then it can pull out. First thing I noticed was this. Let's see if I can get you to see that. See that little piece? It looks like a little piece of plastic is in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. All right, if you saw that diagram, then you know we've got uh, two powers right here, this one and that one. And then we've got um, another power right here, pin number eight. Then we've got a ground here and a ground there. So we've got our test light connected to the uh, pin number eight, which is a power. So now we're gonna just uh, hit the grounds and see if uh, we get a full bright light. See, we got a light there on that ground, that ground. That also verifies this power. So now we're gonna swap. So now we're on the ground. Bright light on that power, and bright light on that power. So that confirms our uh, Three powers and two grounds are fine. So that's gonna most likely be an internal issue with this control module that they put in. Uh, but remember we saw that trash in there, we're gonna put it back in and see if that error goes away. Uh, if not, we're still gonna reprogram it and if the error continues, we're gonna have the client know they're gonna have to replace this module as well. All right, we're connected to the truck right now. Uh, connected with our VX logo. All right. Yeah, if we go here to the DTCs, of course, we see the air, right? And of course that, and go here, see if it'll take it, being that it's got that air, it might not. Okay. All right, that's the uh, current configuration. And, uh, save all. I'm gonna call it original. Right. Yes. Connected to the internet. It's gonna download it for this truck. Did. Now we're gonna save this. I'm just gonna call this uh, factory. All right, now we're gonna write to the module. Yes. Cycle the ignition off. And back on. Okay. Now, let's go to DTCs. Oh, let me, uh, we gotta stop this now. Done here. Okay. We go to DT 
ACCs now. We're going to select the ABS module. We're going to reset it. Let's see what happens. Off. On. So the code came back and the VIN mismatch code is gone. So we have definitely a faulty ABS module has been reprogrammed with the correct VIN. So we got rid of our VIN mismatch error. But because we've got a bad module, we've got the error still back. So that's gonna be it. At this time, there might be a part two if the customer wants, but it's gonna have to be a replacement of the ABS module to solve this issue because right now it's confirmed that it's an internal fault in this module. Uh, but the VIN mismatch error is gone, as you can see. We no longer have that error. Refresh it one more time. I just turned it off and started it again. And all we got is the internal fault. So, like and subscribe, boys. And see you on the next one. Well, if you stuck around to the end, we got some bonus footage for you. We got the module swapped out with another one. And as you can see, the two codes it has. So... Let's do a programming on it. I'm gonna go here. ABS. Yes. I'm gonna load it because we already have it downloaded. From the factory. And we're gonna write it. Actually. Right now we're gonna write it. All right, ignition off. On. Go to the DTCs now. Oh, we gotta stop out of there. Finish that function, T2Cs, and we're going to select the ABS, I'm going to clear it out, off and on, alright, just did it, okay, no errors in the ABS module boys. As you can see, the ABS light is now off. Let's go ahead and off. There it is, boys. The ABS light is off. The brake light is on, uh, which is different. Yep, that's probably the brake pedal. But we've got no more codes in the ABS module. Like and subscribe, boys.